Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I just wanted to talk through a little hidden trick that I discovered on the Rally Bar that will also work with the Rally Bar Mini, and that is bring your own meeting or bring your own device mode. It's a nifty little feature, and I'll show you that just now. For all the will in the world, not everybody is using Microsoft Teams for meetings, and if you're not, I urge you to try them out. They are something special. The other thing is you can't control what kind of invites somebody sends to you as an attendee. Um, as those other people aren't using Teams, they might send you a Zoom meeting, a WebEx meeting, a GoTo meeting from Google Hangouts or something like that, some other type of meeting. And occasionally you need to join those. And also, as the world starts to get back to normal, people get back into the office, people want to join these meetings, not just from their desk or from their mobile phone, they want to join them from a meeting room space. And if this is you, this feature is right up your street. So I think I told you in my long review that the Rally Bar has some additional ports on the back, uh, USB and HDMI. The HDMI in will work in Microsoft Teams meetings. You can share your screen and do all that kind of stuff. You also have some USB ports on the back, which means you can also share system audio and use the device as your mic speakers and also your camera. But if you use them both together, it means you can also bring your laptop. I've got my old trusty laptop, the one I could find that actually had USB and HDMI on the side without the use of adapters and, and whatnot. Right, so as you can see, I'm running Microsoft Teams in appliance mode, and I'm just going to plug in USB and HDMI from out the back of the actual rally bar. Right, so if I plug in HDMI and then quickly follow by plugging in the USB, you'll see on the screen, I get a notification. So it says connecting to your laptop gives you a little countdown from five to one. The screen from your laptop is immediately duplicated onto the screen of the actual rally bar and the tap console becomes basically a big remote control. You can move the camera around, adjust volume and all that kind of stuff. If I go down to sound settings, you can see that the rally bar is now the audio device for this and also that the camera from the rally bar is now the webcam instead of this dodgy front facing camera on this really old laptop. It means that if I wanted to join a meeting from somebody other's platform, for instance, Zoom here, I don't have a meeting ID or anything set up. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm stealing the resources from the bar itself as the resources for my laptop. So I've got big room audio and video instead of the stuff that's built into the laptop itself. I can fill the room with people and I can join that other meeting. Now, as soon as I disconnect the cable, what happens is you get that countdown again, five, four, three, two, one, and it switches immediately back to appliance mode and then into the teams thing and you can carry on joining teams meetings placing calls and everything that you would normally do from there on out and that's it that's all i wanted to show you if you're the type of company that needs to join other platforms meetings from your microsoft teams room hardware then the rally bar and this little hack could be for you thanks very much and i'll catch you in the next video